Hello, future millionaires. This is Aztec, and this is the CSE. Everyone wants to find the next unicorn, basically a small cap coin or token that's going to reach unicorn status, $2 billion market cap. So today, I'm going to show you very quickly, as fast as I can, all of this information that supports my thoughts of seeing Matic go from a small cap coin to a unicorn status project. So, um, we're going to talk about um, Matic, you know, fundamentals, technicals. We're going to look at the things that are happening in the near future, like staking and the mainnet, and why these are significant. We're going to be looking at a possible Coinbase listing and how that's achievable. We'll look at the team. We'll look at the website. We'll explain what Matic is. We'll do all of that. And we're going to do that as fast as possible. I know I talk slow, but uh, I will try to do this quickly because there's a lot of information. I really want to go ahead and pound into your brains exactly how I find uh, unicorns and, you know, essentially do this all as quickly as possible. Now, this is very hard to do. Uh, there's so much more that is, you know, that I look at. And... Uh, I do have to say this is not financial advice. This is not, uh, you know, how the team thinks necessarily. It's not um, me speaking as a Matic Mitra. It's me speaking as Aztec today, uh, just an enthusiast, an investor, an analyst, you know, um, and it's not financial advice. So please, guys, just understand that this is me speculating and doing research like I've always done in the past. And I have been successful in the past, so, uh, you know, that's important to know. Basically, I like to start when I do my research, I like to start on coin market cap. It's so easy. It's simplistic. Um, basically, we got to look at the market cap. You got to make sure that, first of all, that it's a small cap coin or token. And we can see that it is because it's sitting at the 88th place. And the market cap is just a little over $38 million. This is important because this gives us an idea of where we're at on the spectrum of all the other market caps in the current market. Um, $38 million is not very much if you look at the top 10 or top 20 coins, you know, and let's not look at Bitcoin or the top three. Let's scroll down. Let's look at the 10th place, you know, $38 million compared to 994 million dollars on 10th place uh, let's go to the 20th place ethereum classic uh, they're sitting at a very nice 627 million dollars if you were to just take 38 million dollars and divide it by you know this market cap here you could see just how easy it is to or not how easy but um, I guess basically realistically looking at it, you could see if you were just moved to the 20th place on coin market cap, uh, this is how many multipliers you could multiply your stack or amount of Matic network that you have. Uh, essentially, this is about a, a six times uh, your money if you were to go from the 88th place where Matic sitting at today to the 20th place. And it's always good to be conservative. Don't look at things and say, where will we be in an ultimate bull run scenario, uh, Matic at $10? I mean, yes, that's probably possible in an ultimate bull run scenario. But conservatively, conservatively speaking today, um, where could we see Matic being in the near future, especially with everything I'm going to talk about today? Well, 20th place, that's not bad. Uh, and if we were to do that today, we're looking at about six times your money. And that's a lot, you know, and that's very conservative. We're not looking at something, you know, in the top 10. We're looking at the 20th place. So uh, scrolling back down to the 88th place on CoinMarketCap to find the Matic Network. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. If you want to find the price of Matic on any given day, that is easily found by dividing your market cap 
by your current circulating supply. Not your total supply, your current circulating supply. It's very important to know how to do that um, because, you know, in the future, if you ever want to figure out, you know, where your coin may be at a certain market cap, you're just going to divide that market cap by your circulating supply. So, so basically, we've looked at the market cap. We see that it's a small cap uh, token and that if we were to hit the 20th place, that still wouldn't make it a unicorn, but it would six times your money. Now, I believe it's, you know, the, the Matic Network uh, token can definitely be a unicorn project because, uh, you know, I think that in the very near future and this year and next year, we'll see uh, the entire market cap of crypto reach all time highs and, you know, exceed everyone's wildest dreams. So $2 billion is not going to be hard to hit. But um, in general, I think that this next bull run is really going to be fueled by projects that are, um, that have a lot of use case that actually are beyond a white paper, that have a mainnet, that have a lot going for it, basically. I don't think they're going to be just simple projects this time around because there's too many people already um, that have just been through this and know what to look for. And I think that a lot of smart money is going to be dumping into this next bull run and they're going to be pushing the projects that are you know, on top of their stuff. So as we can see, we'll just go look at some of the statistics here. This is very important because this gives us an idea of how the project's done so far. We look at Matic Network and the return on investment, and um, we're sitting at 230%, so that's a little over two times your money if you bought in the IEO. Um, this chart looks really great to me. Um, this is not a cup and handle, but um, you know, it'd probably be traded like one in the future. You do see that it's given some nice opportunities you know, over here and right over here to make some trades if you wanted to. Um, but also you can see that since inception, it's at a higher point. There's why the uh, return on investment is a little over two times your money. These are all positive things to see. Um, what we want to see is the next, uh, next major movement up. We want to see that it breaks all time highs and um, what I'd like to see is that, you know, in the future that we actually um, get to a market cap that is harder to attack because this here was an attack. Um, you want to see a, a higher market cap so that you feel better holding it for the future and more safe. Um, you know, the higher the market cap, the harder the price is to fluctuate, which is a positive but also a negative if you're trying to make major gains. But if you're trying to stake and uh, feel safe about current valuation, then you know you want to see a higher market cap. So in the future, I want to see this um, all-time high broken, and I think it's very easy to achieve. Um, there's a lot of other data here, but essentially, let's just go over the basic information that's here. Actually, let's go to the website. So. Here on the website, it says scalable and instant blockchain transactions. Matic Network brings massive scale to Ethereum using an adapted version of Plasma with proof of stake based sidechains. If we scroll down, it says why Matic decentralized apps are making huge progress, but the current blockchain ecosystem is not prepared to scale as per demand. The issue of slow block confirmations and high gas fees need to be solved before we target mass adoption by mainstream users and most importantly it needs awesome user experience we aim to change that by simplifying the interaction between users and the decentralized world we want to make interacting with the decentralized ecosystem so easy that anyone can do so without worrying about the complexity of the system like your grandma um, basically in a nutshell, Matic is sitting on top of Ethereum. So Ethereum is the layer one, Matic is the layer two, and then applications will go on top. Uh, right now, 
um, you know, you have Ethereum and it's not able to, you know, there's all this smart money and major uh, companies in the world looking to utilize Ethereum's technology, but, you know, any type of application that they want to deploy on top of Ethereum, uh, just bottlenecks. There's, there's not enough, it, Ethereum isn't able to give enough transaction per second to truly um, allow the applications to work properly. So, especially for mass adoption. So you have Matic, that's where Matic comes in. It's the layer two, it sits on top of Ethereum and then it allows the applications to sit on top of the Matic network and essentially scale. Um, you know, Matic gives these uh, projects or applications the ability to have, um, you know, millions of transactions per second, you know, essentially that's, that's the goal. And uh, it does it by using side chains or multiple side chains on the Matic network. Essentially, that's what it is. Uh, Matic is very important because Ethereum has the lion's share of all the applications currently. It also has the lion's share of all smart money um, that's looking currently to jump into blockchain. They're looking at Ethereum. So Matic is very important because it basically scales Ethereum and um, that's very important to know. It's also very important to know that um, Ethereum 2.0 is still going to require Matic. And you can find that in a video that I've made recently, you can, information about that. Now scrolling down this website, why, why am I looking at this website? Well, first of all, I want to kind of give you a general idea of what Matic is, but also the website is very important if you're looking at um, trying to figure out you know what the project is capable of when you're looking at a small cap project you don't really know generally speaking what they're capable of because they're generally some type of new start they haven't really proven themselves in many aspects so you got to try to find what you can the website is very important because if the team is not being led by someone like um, you know, some some very big star in, in the crypto world. I don't want to name names, but, uh, you know, possibly someone that has created other projects and things like that, then then, you know, you have to just use what you, ha you what you can. And the website, as funny as it sounds, is actually really important because you can see from the website here that it's very clean. The words are spelled properly, that they took the time to develop something that is um, you know, easy to use that explains what Matic is very simply and uh, they get their point across. This is all important things to note because there are many projects that have a white paper that haven't proven anything and they have a website that is, you know, has tons of flaws and that really looks bad on the project. So I do look at the website because it gives me an idea for you know what the team is able to do now this website is saying that the matic features are scalability high throughput user experience user experience is super important i mean think about it think about all the think about your grandma you know she wants to use um some type of application she's going to need something that has great user experience um, and the matic network is assisting the applications that are going to build on top of them with user experience or UX as you know this site saying as many people say in the um, crypto world but um, I think it's also important that user experience is on their features is on you know the team's mind you know they don't want to just develop something that has a lot of transactions per second and give that ability but they also want it to be smooth and, and ready for mass adoption um, security asset interoperability one-stop DeFi platform they're saying these are the features and this you know there's a lot to be updated in my opinion because Matic is moving so quickly but um, this is basically giving you the gist of what Matic is here's uh, it's talking about the toolkit for developers it's nice to see that because um, that enables the developers to move more smoothly. You also want to look at the advisors. You know, who, who's advising this team? What uh, resources does the team have? And, you know, just by looking at the advisors, you can see that you have someone from Decentraland. You have uh, someone from Head of Engineering. 
for the wallet at Coinbase. This is huge because this kind of will tie into um, some of the Coinbase information that I want to give you guys about the Matic Network. Um, you know, everyone's saying, well, Matic Network is going to be listed on Coinbase because Coinbase invested in them. But I'm going to show you and prove to you that Coinbase has invested in them. And I'm going to show you just how that relates to um, Matic becoming a unicorn in, in a very short bit of time. The other advisor is also from Decentraland. So Decentraland being, you know, the platform for gaming, um, one of the biggest in blockchain. So this is awesome to see because Matic doesn't just have the ability to scale projects. It has um, connections with, you know, very large uh, gaming uh, personalities in blockchain. And it also has ties to Coinbase. We also know that it was an IEO on Binance. So it has the power of Binance sitting behind it. Just by this little bit of information we have, um, it tells us a lot. Their partners, this can be updated, um, but you know you do see Decentraland, you do see MakerDAO. These are huge, uh, powerful players in blockchain today. This is awesome to see. And uh, that's the front page. So we see a lot we can see a lot just from the front page, you know, it's, it's just so smooth. It's a beautiful website. Um, you know, I, I think that's great. That's, that really puts me at ease for a lot of things just from the website. Um, part of the website, you can go to, um, the blog portion and I actually searched Coinbase because I wanted to show you the article that talks about Coinbase. Now, this is really important. It shows here announcing our funding round. Now, I'll, I'll go ahead and get into this in just a little bit. So stay tuned. But let's talk about Dagger. Now, a lot of people know about the Matic Network, but they don't know what Dagger is. Now, this is important, again, because this ties into understanding, you know, if you have a new startup or a new project, you want to know, you know, what have they done in the past? Uh, you know, what are their capabilities? And you can look at these things, you know, to give you an idea of what they're able to put forth in the future. And, you know, what success have they basically had in the past? So they created Dagger. Dagger was um, before the Matic Network. There was a team that they were a team that created this here. So it says get real-time updates from the Ethereum blockchain. So they basically created this um, application on the Ethereum blockchain. And it says Dagger is the fastest and easiest way to get real-time updates for Ethereum blockchain. Why you should use Dagger. We run and maintain infrastructure to, for providing you with reliable and scalable real-time events. You can avoid the risk and complexity of polling for events and dedicate your energy to what really matters, building great dApps. So essentially they built this application and um, it basically gives you real time updates on the Ethereum blockchain here. You see this keep popping up and it's saying, you know, that, um, let's see, basically that, uh, that something has happened on the Ethereum blockchain and, and that you can kind of integrate this application into your application that you're building so that you, you know, let's say if it's part of the wallet or what have you, so that you can see that a transaction has happened on Ethereum. So we already see here that, you know, the team, Matic team created Dagger. This is important because it already shows that the team has uh, a past that is very constructive and that's important because a lot of teams, you know, you'll see some great names. You'll see what they may have been working on in the past, you know, at a certain Internet company or what have you. But with the newer um, projects, it's hard to really extrapolate that and say, well, this is why this team is significant, you know, um, because they, they worked at, you know, whatever uh, company. Now, some of the companies are you know, very big companies and it's, it's uh, promising, you know, if you see Google or something like that, but a lot of projects don't have people that work for Google. So you have to find what you can. Again, you see the website, it looks great. It has, it's, you know, has basically tells you exactly what the project's about. Um, it's usability and 
and uh, it's very streamlined is you know it's all 10 stars out of 10 stars um, you see that they created an application already that's very successful that people are integrating into their applications and it's the fastest and easiest application to get real-time um, updates on the Ethereum blockchain. So this is all important. Let me make sure that we're still filming. All right, awesome, awesome. So, all right, guys. Hope you hope you're all uh, staying on track. I'm trying to show you how I find a you know the next unicorn, and there's not always a lot of information to be able to grasp onto to find a small cap project um, you know that's going to do well so you have to do this kind of research this analysis um, so you know these are all great things essentially proving that the Matic team is able to make um, you know great strides forward and you already have a great past so um, you know, we could also, let's see, what else would I want to look at about, let's go ahead and look at their vision. This is important. It says, we are a team passionate about decentralization and better products. The current decentralized ecosystem lacks usability and convenience. Decentralized transactions are slow, expensive, and complex. Expensive. This is actually a pretty important keyword because currently with Ethereum, if you're trying to develop something on Ethereum, it's pretty expensive to do so. If you use... Uh, Matic to not only help you scale, um, you you also um, have the ability to develop your application on top of Ethereum using Matic uh, very affordably. So uh, it says we aim to change this by leveraging a combination of blockchain scaling developer platform and tools and a rapid focus on user experience. Again, user experience, awesome. We aspire to see a world where blockchain gains mainstream adoption. And you need all of this for mainstream adoption. And then it, it uh, ends by saying, and fulfills its true promise. So their team, they have an amazing team. Personally, people that I've talked to is uh, Sandeep, uh, JNT. Um, I've also talked to Siddharth, uh, Shandaresh, um, you know, personally, people that I've talked to from the team that I know that are really amazing. And if you go through the team, and this is actually a pretty big team here, um, you know, you're going to you're gonna go ahead and read through this information. There's a lot of very um, interesting people on the team that have already had a lot of background in uh, developing in, you know, major companies. This is a, comp or this is a team out of India. So some of the companies here are uh, basically companies out of India, but it's very profound team. These guys are amazing. Um, you know, you have Nirbek here as well. I've talked to him. Um, Delroy, talked to him. And what I find personally, this is kind of a side note, guys. Um, what I find so awesome about the team is, yes, they already have so much going for them. They've built a lot of things already. They've worked at lightning speeds since uh, their inception, and, and they're, they're definitely brilliant. You can tell by talking to them, but they're, they're all really nice. Um, you see a lot of project heads and, and people, you know, basically at the top of projects, and they won't give you the time of day. And I see, you know, for instance, like Sandeep here, he's the the uh, co-founder and COO, and he actually goes into the Telegram and, and uh, Telegram channel and will talk to you. Um, he doesn't come at you trying to take your neck off. Um, he's he's very very just down to earth. And these are all important things because if you're talking about a project having the ability to work with govern uh you know governments and big companies you know you got to have people that are down to earth you got to have people that are not only brilliant but um you know passionate and also um, very easy to speak with and and communicate with and i see a lot of this if you watch the um 
you know, AMAs and things that they've put out there. This team, there's not, you know, not just Cindy, but uh, lots of other people on this team. They're, they're very, um, you know, they're very, they're very, they just, they get their points across. They're very nice and professional. So I, I have to say this team is awesome. Um, it's honestly my, my favorite team of people that I've ever met in blockchain. They're just, they're just so cool. So, um, you know, besides that, they, they have a lot going for them. They've done a lot already. Now, um, things that are happening in the near future, we'll go to, um, discord. Now this is really important because not a lot of people know this. I'm going to, I'm going to share this with you guys. Um, if you go to their Counterstake thematic uh, Discord channel and you go to their announcements, you see that an announcement was put out on December 20th of 2019. And you see what's coming in the near future and just about when. So a lot of people um, basically have announced that staking and the mainnet is going to happen um, in Q1 of this year. And if we look at this statement, you see a, just where it's going to be in Q1. Now it says, uh, if you're comfortable with node setup, and now again, this is the staking Discord channel, so they are talking about staking, but you know, let, just follow me here. It says, if you're comfortable with the node setup, then you are you are all set for stage one. Stage one begins soon after the holidays. Expect sometime between the 8th and 15th of January. What happens here is validators need to stake and produce blocks and participate in validation on public testnet. We test all features incrementally. Once we are sure of everything working fine soon after stage one, we have a last trial round and all selected validators from their stage one performance compete to accumulate more power just for fun and incentives. Expect the entire testnet event to run until February end. So we know that it's not, you know, none of this is going to happen before February. It says, hopefully we will be super sure about the network by then and soon after we launch our mainnet. So what we can see here is if all this is going to happen in Q1 of this year, which is a lot to happen all in, you know, one quarter to finalize, um, you know, we can see that's not going to happen this month or next month. So it's probably going to happen, you know, they're saying, you know, we need to make sure, you know, where we're at with the network, um, you know, but basically by February. So we could we can really see that it's probably going to happen in March or April. And they're also going to launch the main net with staking. So this is, um, you know, directly from the Discord channel. You can see this is real, you know, um, anyone can verify this for themselves by just joining Discord and going to the Counterstake um, Matic Discord channel. And you can see that all this is happening very soon. A lot of people were looking for some kind of update on, you know, where things are. Well, everything's being tested now and it will be coming out very soon. And we can see that here. And I think this is important because um, what I see is that if we look at the chart, you know, if we want to kind of talk about Matic from a technical standpoint, we see that we were attacked here um, and we've been kind of grinding sideways here, just range bound, essentially. Uh, we found support on the 0.786, which is great. And, um, you know, we're moving sideways. This is important because this is all leading into March and April. You know, we want to break this all time high here. Can we do it? Well, it's definitely pretty possible, especially with... Um, you know, staking coming uh, with a mainnet coming. These are all things that are really going to, you know, create a lot of hype around, uh, you, know, it's, you know, the news and the hype is going to create um, a lot of bullish momentum for the the uh, project. Of course, the price. So um, currently just sitting, if we're looking at the daily on this chart, this is great to see that all this is happening soon because if we look at, the daily this gives us an idea of you know the price performance um you know in the mid to sh uh, mid to long term i guess you could say kind of more midterm but anyways uh we see here if we look at the stokes that we had a buy signal we're sitting in the lower uh region here and we have a lot of room to grow until the bullish control zone 
and we did get a buy signal recently. Uh, on the MACD, we see that we're just kind of grinding out here. We're definitely showing buy pressure on the histogram. We're above the uh, signal, so bullish. Um, the RSI is sitting about 40. It's you know kind of in between uh, neutral and bearish, but it's I would say close to being very neutral. The only concerning thing is probably these um, EMAs. You see the 21 looking to possibly cross under the 200 and the 50 possibly going across under the green line here, which is the uh, 100 EMA exponential moving average. But uh, essentially, other than that, more the indicators do provide us more bullish sentiment versus bearish, and that's good because you know with all this happening in the short term. Um, you know, we could possibly come down if Bitcoin was to fall again, or if we just were to kind of range out, we could possibly hit, you know, 155, but more likely, you know, if we were to move down in the short, short term, you know, maybe go down to 175 sats. But other than that, with all this bullish sentiment from the indicators, we're probably going to grind here, and with all this speculation coming in the near future, we may start moving up, and these uh, indicate these EMAs may just really kind of graze the other EMAs and then start pulling upward again. Uh, that would be what I think is going to happen, and what I'd love to see is that we actually break this all-time high and and move closer to the 20th place on coin market cap, moving us closer to the um, you know, making Matic, well, um, unicorn status. Now, from technical standpoint, everything looks very decent, looks pretty good in my opinion, especially looking at the daily. We know all this is going to happen shortly. Now let's look at Coinbase. I think Coinbase is going to be happening after all of this. So, you know, if we have a pullback, Possibly after you know they as they say buy the news sell the uh, um, <laughs> buy the buy the buy the rumors sell the news as they say so there's a lot of rumors going on here and then if they do sell the news you have Coinbase coming out soon after that I think in my opinion and here's why I'm gonna go ahead and go over this website. So stay with me. Uh, we're going to talk. This is the actual Coinbase listing website and what needs to be checked off. This is a checklist for the things that need to happen for a coin to be listed on Coinbase or token. So uh, first of all, we need to look at this article here that was published in April of 2019. So, of course, we know that Matic is, again, again, I'm saying it, Matic is an IEO on Binance. Binance is still a very influential um, exchange. They have a lot of ties to all of the uh, powers in the crypto world. So, you know, you want to be on Binance's team. But you're also, if you're investing in Matic, you're also, you know, you have Coinbase behind you. You have Coinbase Ventures. And it shows here, it says, we are pleased to announce Coinbase Ventures as our investor in our seed round. The investment is aligned with our goals to achieve adoption through better usability alongside scalability and will help us realize our vision to achieve scale for decentralized applications. Let me make sure we're still, yeah, we're still going. All right, the camera is still working. Coinbase is one of the best and most trusted exchange platforms for crypto in the world. We are proud to have Coinbase Ventures supporting us in our journey. When one thinks about crypto adoption for real-world use case, usability and stability um, are extremely crucial aspects. We have been exploring different ways to achieve, to deal with these. Uh, for usability, Coinbase Wallet fits perfectly with our goal alongside Matic Wallet. Coinbase Wallet will help Matic's decentralized app interact with Matic network easily and securely. It will help users move their assets from Ethereum to Matic. Once the user's assets are on Matic, they will be able to transfer and trade them on Coinbase wallet instantly. Users can use dApps built on Matic directly on Coinbase wallets, 
browser or can use Wallet Connect to access them through Matic Wallet. In order to address a volatility, Matic will integrate USD Coin, USDC, which is Coinbase's stablecoin, alongside other stable coins like DAI to provide stable payment rails on top of the Matic network. You can read more about USDC here. So if you look at this information, it's really kind of hinting at a Coinbase listing. And if we go to Coinbase's website, uh, this checklist is huge, so I'm not going to go over every bullet point, but you see that um, you know, you need to have these kind of things checked off like innovation or efficiency gains. So a new or improved technology, which helps solve a problem, creates a new market, addresses an unmet market need or creates value for network participants. So if we just flash back to everything I've been talking about, that's a check off. Um, decentralization, decentralization is provided by Ethereum, but also Matic will have its own decentralization with proof of stake. So that's a check off quality and opportunity. There's definitely a lot of opportunity and quality with equality with um, Matic. Economic freedom, definitely. You know, it's going to be decentralized. Uh, under their technology, it shows their source code, prototype, security, and code. This, these are all check offs. I've looked through this. The team, so founders and leadership, engineering, business, and operations, specialized knowledge and key people. This is all checkoffs. Um, governance is pretty much provided by you know um, Ethereum. So these are checkoffs. Uh, scalability, obviously, Matic is definitely going to provide scalability. So um, under this one, it says roadmap, clear timeline with stages of development, reasonable project milestones or built-in development incentives. Again, built-in and development incentives, that these are all things that are gonna be happening very soon. So, you know, if we check this off, we know that, um, you know, since staking and the mainnet's happening very soon, um, you can see that Coinbase listing could be happening very shortly after that. It's very possible is what I'm saying, uh, based off my research and my opinion. Uh, network operating cost, um, you know, this is definitely something that Matic tackles. Practical applications, Matic's very practical type of blockchain. The assets, the asset is a separate blockchain with a new architecture system and network, or it is, or it leverages an existing blockchain for synergies and network effects. It does both. Um, legal and compliance, you need to be able to, of course, um, comply with U.S. securities law, compliance obligations. Um, Matic is known for being uh, compliant. So these are checkoffs also. Uh, integrity and reputational risk. There's no risk um, from, from what I can see here because Coinbase has already invested in them. Uh, market supply. These are all things that I, I personally believe are checkoffs like the global market capitalization. It says, how does the market capitalization compare to the total market capitalization of other assets? Um, you know, you have coins that are, are listed on um, Coinbase that have higher uh, market capitalizations and also some that are very similar. Um, asset velocity, it says trade velocity or turnover is a significant part of market capitalization. This is a measure of how easily the asset can be converted to another asset. This is, of course, a checkoff. Circulation for service of work tokens, new supply is created through consensus protocols. If the supply is capped, then a material amount of total tokens should be available to the public. Um, I'd say that this is something I would want to look into, but I, I believe it's a checkoff. Um, I, I think that there's this is something that I really can't know personally. Um, total exchanges, there's definitely multiple exchanges listed for Matic already. Geographical distri distribution is great. You know, it's you, you can buy Matic all around the world. There's fiat pairs. Uh, there's definitely exchange volume distribution. It, it says if secondary markets exist, then volume should be relatively distributed across exchanges. This is definitely something that is happening. 
there's definitely market demand um, you know there's this is all being created network standards yeah this is these are all things that are happening um, crypto economics sorry about that um, you know there's definitely utility token cell structure it can't be a security you know and basically Matic is not a security and um, I mean you, you can just keep going through this this is pretty much the end of it but what I wanted to show you guys is that first of all I want to be able to show you the website so that you can go ahead and verify this kind of information for yourself if you want or even take more time to find out more specifics but you can see that with everything that's happening like staking which will create you know further decentralization for Matic and um, with the mainnet happening and one of these checkoffs does say that you know a mainnet is important um, you know that's going to be happening um, you know you can see that basically a coinbase listing is going to be very uh, easy to achieve after uh, this you know staking and mainnet is released so yeah um, overall I think that this project proves that you know we, we already know it's a, a small cap token and that the project the team uh, has been successful at many things already um, if you want to also see just all the other successes that the team has had you can go to the Matic blog portion on their website right click and you can just scroll through all the other things that they've achieved I mean plasma is huge guys I mean, lots of people are trying to tackle plasma and in my opinion it's not that successful many people have fell that at trying to create um, you know um, plasma um, you know you already have coinbase and binance behind this project and you can keep scrolling through and seeing all the different um, projects that are working with Matic either by using them to scale on top of Ethereum or using them to actually scale because essentially Matic is a layer two so not only is it going to scale Ethereum but it has the ability to scale other layer ones this is also important because that's its own other stories and things that it's going to be able to do in the future and you know you already have a project like uh, Elrond that's um, using Matic to scale so not only are apps being deployed and scale uh, being able to scale on top of Matic, but Matic is scaling layer ones like Ethereum and Elrond and and you know other projects to come, especially after the mainnet. And you know after mainnet, it also gives you the ability to work with all of the other big projects that are out there that are kind of waiting on the sideline to make sure that Matic is able to achieve what you know what they're saying that they're going to be able to do. Um, so, you know, I, what I think is Q1, I want to sum this up by saying, I think that Q1 is going to be huge for this project, I'm not saying that it's going to become a unicorn token within Q1, but all these things do support an idea that they have a lot of potential to become a unicorn. Um, but also that this Q1 is going to be a huge, a huge, um, it's going to do very well, I think, in, in this Q1 because of all of this that's happening. You have projects that want to deploy. You have, uh, on top of Matic, you have uh, projects that want to be scaled by Matic. You have Matic coming out with staking. You have Matic coming out with the main net. You have Coinbase possibly listing them in the near future. Um, you know, the list just keeps going on and on and on. And all of that could happen in Q1. Um, and most of it will happen in Q1. And if, even if we look at this, you know, if we look at this from a technical standpoint, there's all this support in this area. So for me, I am buying this region. Um, I, I honestly, if you look at my technical analysis on TradingView, you know that I've been invested in Matic for, you know, uh, a long period of time, even down here. I was investing in Matic, but, 
um, there's a lot of support here. And with everything that's coming in the near future, I think Matic will do very well. And hopefully all of this helped you kind of get an idea of how I come to the conclusions that I come to. You know, I'm not just saying Matic Moon and Matic Lambo. I'm, I'm doing research when I look at a project. Um, and, you know, you, you've got to do that. You can't just jump on the train and follow Tron because they're hyping, you know, their project. You got to look at actual fundamentals. You got to look at the technical analysis and you got to research the team and you got to make sure that the team is really ready to make their vision happen. So anyways, guys, that's it. I'm not going to keep going. I could, but I'm not going to. Never give up on the future of money. Take it easy, guys.